Today's video is sponsored by the PlayStation that would cause a household punch up every Saturday because your wee brother said it was his shot. Alright folks, Batchy here and welcome back to Growing Up Scottish. Today's topic of discussion is siblings. The brothers and sisters out there whose only objective in life was to grass on ye. I grew up with two wee brothers and we used to punch fuck out each other all the time. I'm amazed we've still got all our own teeth. On a run from a given disaster. Being the older brother, I used to get the blame, you should ken better, even if I was the involved. They were stealing chocolate out the cupboard and kicking the living shite with each other, but somehow it was my fault. That being said, there was no better feeling than sitting back and watching them getting screamed at for something I did. Who ate all the cold meat in the fridge? I ken it was one of yous. It was like a competition. Sometimes when you took it too far though, your ma would hit out with, I don't care who started it, I'm ending it which was usually your final warning before she phoned your da. It's funny, you could be knocking lumps at each other, but the second she threatened to call your da, all warfare ceased and you'd start running around hoovering the house, begging her not to tell him. To be fair though, we used to fight quite a lot. I remember winding up my brother for a chase one time, so he smashed down my bedroom door with a hoover. It was just never a normal fight with us. I mean, we were booting railings out of the banister to hit each other with. The middle brother was called Sam, and because there was only a three year age gap between us, we used to beat each other's throats all the time. He left my football up the park one time, so I burst his face open with a stone. Another time we'd been arguing, so I ran through the living room and fly kicked him off the couch. Next thing you know he's running up the stairs screaming, You've paralysed me. I was rolling about laughing my head off. He thought getting winded was comparable to paralysis. Needless to say that became a catchphrase. The thing is though, he would start crying all the time, which meant I had to go through the four step process you've got to go through whenever you hurt your wee brother or sister. First you try and convince them that you hardly touched them, despite the fact that you've just slum tom bombed them off the top bunk bed. Then you would plead with them not to grass. I didn't mean it. Don't tell mum. You can hit me if you want. If they did hit you, you would pretend to start crying so they couldn't tell on you because you'd both hurt each other. If they didn't, then you had two choices. You could try and hurt yourself to make them laugh so they weren't the crying when your mum walks in, or run like fuck. Arguments broke out in my house all the time, usually over who got the TV remote or the ice cream out the freezer. We argued so much my mum stopped taking us out in the car because we would fight over the rules of shotgun. I also used to tell him he was adopted and point at ugly people on the TV saying that's your twin. We also tried to dabble in the your ma's so fat patter until we realised we both had the same ma. Kids, eh? The best thing though was when you found your sibling had done something wrong and you'd threatened to grass on them unless they did everything that you tell them. I got my wee brother to tidy the bedroom for four years because he said bastard before he clocked on. Good old blackmail. If my ma ever asked me to do the dishes, I'd go through and tell my brother that my ma had asked him to do them just because I couldn't be arsed, whilst he tried to leverage the old Ma said it's my turn on the PlayStation, but I wasn't zipped up the back. The problem was, he'd go in and grass on me and I'd end up in a race to try and find a save point before she turned the power off. <sighs> Nothing worse than getting made to do something by your ma because your wee brother or sister's telt on you. They'd sit there all smug as they loaded the PlayStation back up and saved over your game while you had to store up the beating you wanted to give them till the next time your ma wasn't looking. My wee brother did start getting wise though. He started realising my ma would believe any piss he told her, so he started shouting, Stop hitting me, when I wasn't, just for his own amusement. Because of that, I had to come up with some new ways to inflict punishment on the wee shite, like hiding his Game Boy or planting empty Chris wrappers under his bed. My ma would come rushing through the room and turn the place into CSI wee ball bag, trying to figure out which one of us did it this time. I keep on trying to the problem with having a sibling is everybody compares you to each other all the time. You'll go round your grand's house and she'll note how similar you look. We look fuck all like each other. The other one is when she would run through a list of names in the family. Your brother's name, your dad's name, your dog's name, and then your actual name. Sam, Brian, Terry, eh, whatever your name is. Running through the family tree like some sort of prisoner roll call. Because me and my brother were so close age-wise, we got made to share everything, including a bedroom. We took it to the extreme though and had actual halves of the room separated by an invisible line. The absolute scenes if we so much as thought about going into each other's half. I was clever about it though. I picked the side with the TV and left him with the bookshelf. Which was funny because he couldn't even read. We also used to do the same in the back seat of the car, otherwise everything would dissolve into madness with a stop touching me argument. We used to like punching each other for no reason as well. 
It turned into a game where we would just jump out and hit each other. I regret it now right enough, I'm 26 and I still flinch if somebody walks too quickly around a corner. Like most families, we had the special child. The one that could burn the fucking house down and still get away with it. That was the youngest brother, Robbie. He's nine years younger than me, and by the time he was born, I think my ma had just lost the will to live after dealing with us two, so she let him away with murder. We got our own back on him though. We told him he had a disease that meant he'd die if he didn't eat dirt three times a week. Anyway, that's all the time I have for this episode of Growing Up Scottish. If you have any stories about your siblings growing up, make sure to fire them in the comments section below. Remember to drop a like in this video if you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.